question for you is, I understand it's a uh, bad economic time, and, and you know, we all understand that. Um, but you talked a lot about today about getting people off of food stamps and having the people work for the people. And to eliminate a program like AmeriCorps and Senior Corps uh, would be doing completely the opposite. Um, it's a program here in New Hampshire. We have over 4,900 seniors who are able to continue to live independently because they're on, they're working in their community, doing service, national service, staying off food stamps, staying off state services. We have a program like City Year here in New Hampshire where young people, I mean, tr unemployment is 20% for people my age right now, and they're able to get a job, and while it may not be the dream salary that they're looking for, you know, they're able to serve their community and stay employed. Again, stay off food stamps, stay off unemployment. So my question for you would be, if you were elected president, would you fall in line with Senator Orrin Hatch and the, the Bush family um, of presidents and still support national you know, service? I've, I've generally been a supporter of, of, of some of these programs. Uh, because they are programs that leverage assets, they leverage uh, volunteer assets by being coordinating points of coordination uh, for volunteer activities within the community, um, and I and there certainly is a a, um, a role to play on that. I, I would say this that it has to be on the table with everything else with respect to reductions in the program. We can't continue to afford uh, to do everything and. Some of these programs, and I haven't looked at all of them, some of these programs may be better run in, on a state level and allowing states to have that flexibility to be able to do this. Uh, but certainly the concept of, of, of having uh, you know, people from, uh, that are, that are you know, funded with grants by the government to help coordinate and, and work with local nonprofits and volunteers to do things that are that you know help care for the poor, or help care for uh, you know other people in need in our society. Uh, again, I'm not I'm not fundamentally opposed to that, but I go back to that these are essentially more state functions than they are national functions. Mm -hmm. And to the extent that these things, like a lot of programs that I'm looking at, like food stamps and Medicaid and uh, housing programs, really are best left to the state governments as opposed to the federal governments. And, and why we need a federal program to do that as opposed to the states having that, that authority, I, I think I would, I would tend to try to migrate those programs back to the state level. Okay. I just, to, um, to kind of follow up, the way the AmeriCorps works is, yes, it's federal funding, but it's given to the states. And so I know a lot of people in this room, you know, want less government and want more state control. And this is a program where the money goes directly to the states. The states decide based on, you know, here in New Hampshire, we know what's best for our community and, and what's going on, just like, you know, Pennsylvania knows what's best. And so we get to decide, you know, where that money goes and where those programs you, you go. To, yeah, there's still a lot of federal guidelines, a lot of federal oversight onto this. So it's not purely a state-run program. And so... Uh, there is there is a there is a difference uh, than of having a program that is basically block granted to the states for the states to operate, as opposed to a program that's run by the federal government. The states in, administer it. There are two different things. But you're right. There's a lot of state flexibility in this pro in that particular program. It varies program to program and how much flexibility there is. And that's why I'm saying it. If we're if we're going to do this, uh, then we need to give the states the ultimate flexibility and. And frankly, uh, you know, to have some skin in the game themselves with respect to some sources of funding. Thank you. You bet.